What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the one and only James Williams, Dog Waters, and I wanted to do a quick little live stream because I'm in a process of recording for Bigfoot Weekend, and there's something that continues to come up over and over and over again when we talk about Bigfoot Weekend with big field researchers, and it's this issue of monetization um, and how they're having trouble financing their outings, specifically equipment for their outings. Um, that's something that we're going to be tackling during this Bigfoot weekend in conversation. You hear it over and over and over again through the conversation. Uh, and I've invited on a lot of people to try and participate in this conversation. Um, we have to cross that hurdle in some way, shape, or form. There's this overarching... Well, there's this camp that uh, in the Bigfoot and Dogman community that feels like any type of monetization is exploitation and then there's the people who actually know that in order to actually do field research they need money um, so with that being said I invited a lot of people on over the past seven days uh, I for those of you who've gotten your emails I encourage you to join me so we can hash out some of these things and figure out how we can move things forward in a cryptic community to where we can actually capture evidence I prefer people to be involved in the conversation as opposed to being on the sidelines commenting on conversation when you have an opportunity to be a part of the conversation to contribute to the conversation um, there's a lot of voices in our communities um, some dissenting voices and those voices have points and opinions that need to be made as well but there has to be a happy medium where people can accomplish their goal some people's life goal is to find Bigfoot um, some people's dream is to do a Bigfoot movie or documentary. Um, some people's dream is to write a book about Bigfoot. Some people's dream is to be a YouTuber. But the overarching theme that, like this undertone, not even a theme, it's an undertone that's at the base of everything cryptic is the monetization. Oh, this person's all about money. Oh, this person's all about this. I want to be clear with you, ladies and gentlemen, if you talk watching somebody on YouTube, and they're monetized in any way, shape, or form, whether they're taking money through PayPal, whether they're um, taking money through YouTube, they're making money off the topic, right? And then there's other people who are in these topics that are purists who treat it as a religion to where it's like, okay, well, you know, you shouldn't make any money off of it. That's because they treat it as a religion and Bigfoot and Dogman is their God, so they get upset when someone makes money off of it. Or um, they're just a purist, right? But all those voices have to come to the table in order to create an environment where you can actually get to the evidence. Because if all those voices aren't at the table, every time something pops up that's going to pursue truth, the difference in opinions are going to be just blasted everywhere, which destroys whatever project comes out. Now, I, as you guys know, I did a project. Um, it had a whole bunch of problems. I'm not doing another one. I mean, I just, I don't see the need to invest that kind of money to deal with that kind of bull crap. But nonetheless, as I talk to um, field researchers, something's going to have to be done. Because just the equipment that it takes to capture images of Bigfoot is three to $8,000. So if you don't even understand the basics of building an audience and then leveraging that audience for sponsorship, then how do you plan to achieve your goal and achieve your dream? So... These are the kind of things that we're going to discuss during Bigfoot Weekend, along with all kinds of crazy encounters. So far, we've got uh, Jimmy Barr that's been on. We've got, um, I mean, from one camp, we got Pasquatch folks we'll coming on to talk about drones. And I mean, looking forward to that conversation because I think there's a lot that can be done with drone technology. Um, we got, um, I'm trying to get Wes Gorman to come. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. Um, I'm definitely going to be able to get Tony Merkel. It's a lot of people that's going to have conversations about Bigfoot. And I, I think I've recorded like nine interviews already just for this weekend. Um, and now I'm going into the encounters, recording, you know, eyewitness encounters. So it's going to be dope, man. It's going to be freaking awesome. And I want you guys to participate in it. Uh, and I want you guys, I want everybody to have an opportunity to participate in this. And everybody to have an opportunity to express their opinion so we can come to a consensus on what can be done, what can't be done, um, and how we achieve our goals. Peace out.